There's a little known place in the state of Iowa that offers children hope. Oh, oh, There was a point where we had to sleep in like alleys and stuff like that with my mom when we were just like babies. The Wildwood Hills Ranch is in St. Charles, Iowa in famous Madison County. And they told me about Wildwood. First I hesitated. <laughs> like I didn't know if I wanted to come or not. So I decided to come. That's how, that's how I got connected with Wildwood is through YWP. I didn't think I was gonna like it. Like I got into a fight like right on right when I got off the bus. I don't I don't know, I just thought I I just felt that I was supposed to be there or something. I don't know. And so I stayed. I just kept coming. This place changes lives. And if there's something that's bothering you in life, you can come here and it'll change your life too. And I came back uh, as a program director when he was 13 and I recognized his face from the first summer that I was here but he'd gotten a lot taller and a lot bigger and he used to be this uh, short little scrawny kid and then when he hit 13 he was uh, really tall and I just kind of watched him that week and he was helping other kids out he was looking out for some of his teammates <laughs> well, our, our mission statement is pretty simple, and that is um, uh, transforming communities, uh, impacting the lives of at-risk youth, and, and uh, doing that in a way that allows uh, God's love to show through. So it's, it's a, uh, well, some people find it hard to wrap their arms around. For us, it's pretty simple. We've had kids with, without shoes. Uh, we have kids that will arrive certainly without clothes or without toiletries and those things. And, and um, that's we're, we're blessed in that we have a generous group of supporters that, uh, that donate things to us to, to give to the kids. And Art therapy is a big part of what we do. And, and uh, we engage the kids in art-related activities that allow them to express themselves in a non-confrontational way, that allow them, whether it's through drawing, whether it's through sculpting, uh, whether it's through a different type of activity that we may do on any given week, it allows them to express their feelings uh, in that way. And, and so uh, all those things are important. And then team building. Uh, team building for us, there's more group activities that I can, that I can count that we engage in where kids will learn to learn to rely on each other. They learn that they can accomplish more together than they can individually. They learn that it's okay to ask for help. It, it, Thursdays, Thursday nights are always a challenging night here uh, because a lot of the kids don't want to go home on Friday. Uh, so we'll have a lot of kids try to run, we'll have a lot of kids start fights, we'll have a lot of kids just act out in general on Thursday. And somewhere in their, in their subconscious, they're saying, well, if I get in trouble here on Thursday, they're not going to send me home on Friday. So if I get in trouble, I can stay here another day or two. And, or you know, the flip side of that is, you know, if I run away, um, then I'm away from whatever setting I'm going to have to go back to. So who knows what's out there, but I'm willing to chance it. Um, and that's where, that's the sad part. Um, you know, if you get through Thursday night and you get to Friday, obviously it's bittersweet. Um, these kids, for a lot of them, have started to learn to trust adults for the first time. Uh, so you have that very strong bond. At the same time, uh, it's out there for everybody that they're going back to a situation that they're probably not excited about. So um, Friday is absolutely bittersweet. Some of the most powerful things that our team leaders can do is just cry with the kids as they're telling their story because um, there's a connection that goes on with that. And um, the hardest thing for me in my job is to hear about the difficult things that our kids are dealing with. After 10 years as a summer camper, Cordell will be back this summer as a paid employee. I don't know, sometimes it feels weird. Like, I was once young, running around just like them. Like, I was a camper, and now I'm just, I'm 20 years old, and here showing them what I almost didn't see. When I hang out with them, I look up to them as my family, brothers and sisters.
Um, I tell them where I lived and where I started off at, like how I started off in a bad neighborhood and living on the streets and not having a home at one point and where I ended, ended off at in a great place and now in a great house and my family's doing well and living pretty good. And you know, over time, over a long period, if we can get the kids back 10 years in a row, we've seen some unbelievable results. Oh.